Damas y caballeros, bienvenidos a una noche donde el metal y el espíritu libre de Ucrania se toman el escenario. Hoy les traemos a una banda que mezcla la intensidad del rock alternativo y metal con una voz que resuena como un llamado místico y poderoso. Ellos son Amarilla, una banda que ha sabido encender pasiones y llevar la fuerza del rock de Ucrania a oídos de todo el mundo. Fundada en 2019 por la cantante y compositora María Arkipova en la ciudad de Kiev, Amarilla ha consolidado su esencia en una mezcla sólida de metal, rock alternativo y rock melódico, estableciendo una base perfecta para los potentes y mágicos matices de su voz. Con álbumes como Música Comunidad, Time, Satellite, Lunes y Hunting Illusions, esta banda ha creado un camino único y profundo en la escena del metal ucraniano. Y hoy vamos a conocer un poco más sobre su historia, su música y la energía que transmiten. Ahora, vamos con algunas preguntas para Amarilla, así que prepárense para adentrarse en su universo. Para empezar, hablemos del nuevo sencillo e Art of Stone. ¿Cómo fue el proceso creativo detrás de esta canción y qué desafíos enfrentaron al adaptar una historia clásica como la de la Reina de las Nieves al contexto actual de Ucrania? Ukrainians as a nation, we are fighters. We we fight for our freedom every single day. And if you will look deeper into history, you will realize that uh, generation to generation were doing the same thing. We were fighting the evil, and we were trying to obtain our freedom. So, in, you know, in some sense, it is our destiny to fight for our freedom and to. To realize that all these challenges are making us and are building us as a nation. Pasando ahora al video musical de Art of Stone, sabemos que tuvieron que grabarlo en un estudio debido al deshielo. ¿Cómo afectó esta situación inesperada la estética y el mensaje visual que querían transmitir? I came up with the idea of the song a couple of years ago, and I really wanted to create sort of a modern fairy tale about difficulties, challenges we're going through in our everyday life, in relationship, in, in life, in everything. And I really wanted uh, people to reflect in the song and understand that all these challenges and difficulties we're going through, actually they are making us stronger and they are building new us. Uh, we released the song during the war in Ukraine and You know, originally we were planning to do that earlier, but they say it happens for a reason. Probably it is like that, because right now, specifically specifically for me, this song really have some new meanings in it. And I really, really see that every Ukrainian person would really see themselves uh, in this song, because right now, every single day, we're going through these difficulties. Like every night we have drone attacks, uh, rocket attacks, and every morning we are getting up, we realize that we are alive and uh, we have to move on. And it is very difficult and, um, you know, it is difficult, but we are becoming stronger because our neighbors, they want to, uh, to kill Our morale, they want to terrorize our people, but the only thing they're actually doing is making us stronger, making us angrier and making us stronger. Our hearts, they are becoming hearts of stone and each Ukrainian person really would see themselves into this context. So, Amarilla ha logrado una fusión entre metal melódico, pop y rock alternativo. ¿Cómo encuentran el equilibrio entre estos géneros para crear un sonido único que resuene con su audiencia? Oh, that's my favorite question about the genres because I grew up on a totally different music. My parents used to listen to 
pop music to sort of um, I don't even know how the genre called it. This sort of music was really popular in Soviet Union uh, in that times, and uh, my father used to play guitar. You know, some simple. Uh, I think in Western Europe you, you actually call it like singer-songwriter songs, but by then it was something different. I never actually heard anything similar in Western world, but it was more about the lyrics, about the meaning, and just, you know, playing some chords um, with the guitar, and that was it. So I grew up on that music. A little bit later I discovered Western pop music as Christina Aguilera, Black Eyed Peas, Pink, and so on and so on. I really loved that, so I would say <laughs> there is a part of my heart which is a metal heart and part of my heart which is pop heart. Uh, much later I discovered rock and metal music for myself. I would say that my journey started with uh, Lunchtime, Linkin Link Park, um, Sum 41, um, Breaking Benjamin and all those bands who really really influenced and my current taste in music and uh, I'm really happy that I'm able right now to, you know, to have all those, the, all those different things blending in together and developing into my music and my songs. So I would say that I never wanted to limit myself with the specific genre, I was really just wanted to create music, to create emotions to create melodies that would resonate with me, that would resonate with the listeners and I never uh, really thought of putting them into some specific frames. So right now in my music, in Amaria's music, I would say that my pop <laughs> heart and my metal heart just blending in together and that's what you hear. I guess it's just me, it's just my my vision of music, of songs, of uh, people who are involved in the creative process and in the end you would hear little stories uh, in the songs, melodies that are, you know, dancing together and creating Amarius songs. Una pregunta que nos interesa mucho, ¿qué saben sobre Argentina? ¿Hay algo en particular que les guste de aquí? ¿Se ven tocando en este país? I'll be honest with you, um, this part of the world is not that much we know about Argentina, but I definitely know it's famous for tango, for tasty wine, football and traveling probably. I love to travel myself, I love to explore different, different cities and different destinations, so I would really, really want, want to come there to maybe Buenos Aires or somewhere else just to explore, just to have a couple of well, preferably weeks, <laughs> to explore your country. And uh, of course, I would love to perform there. In my opinion, music is something that uh, can... In my opinion, music has its beauty in the fact that you can find your listeners all over the world and uh, you can be from Ukraine, like I am, but you can really find people who will appreciate your music in different countries of the world and in the end you will be able to travel there, to perform there, to show your music and people would really appreciate it. So I would even say that music is sort of the international language. <laughs> so yeah, I would really love to come to Argentina and I would really love to connect with people there, to see the nature, to to meet some artists. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't know that much of famous artists, but I would really, really love meeting those people because I'm pretty sure that you guys, you have some talent there. Y, para cerrar, nuestra clásica pregunta, ¿qué creen que es lo mejor y lo peor de Amarilla, según ustedes mismos? Well, best thing is that we have this musical freedom, creative freedom. We just do what we feel. We create songs according to our feelings, according to our stories, and we are able to combine all these things. We are not limited with any specific genre or with any producer who tells you what to do. So yes, this is this freedom. On one hand, it's great. On the other hand, it gives you some complications. But in the end, you are an artist and you're free to express your feelings the way you want. Um, the worst thing is, well, it's kind of obvious, but I would say that that uh, we are in 
the country that is at war now and uh, we were recently invited to join Australian band on European tour but unfortunately my musicians they are not able to leave the country because they are guys so I will be forced to find musicians with whom I can play there in Europe so yes unfortunately this is the worst thing right now for us. Ahí lo tienen, una conversación intensa y llena de pasión con una banda que promete marcar su propio camino en el rock. Esto es Amarilla, desde Ucrania al mundo. Muchas gracias banda y los esperamos por Argentina en algún momento. So I wanted to say a huge thank you to Gustavo who invited me to participate in that interview and I wanted to say thank you to TerritorialRock.com for giving us that opportunity to showcase our music to a different audience on the different parts of the world. You know, it's a beauty of the internet that sometimes you can sit in the room in the other part of the world and talk to people who will be listening to you on the other part of the world. So guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. And I just wanted to say that believe in yourself, do what you love to do, and you will definitely find those people who will really support you on your journey. Thank you so much. That was Maria from Amaria. See you soon.